Welcome back to the Love in Dubai show. Today's guests are Dunya El Brahim and as well Shafi Yaktin from Love is Blind Habibi, who brought all the drama and passion <laughs> to the show from their deep connection in the pods to the last minute wedding decision that kept us all on edge of our seats. Now officially engaged. What's the real story behind their surprising journey? Of course, I'll be here to. Discover all of that with you guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. It's very exciting to see you in real life. You know? It's our pleasure. It's, yeah. uh, I mean, no matter what, it's always like a surreal moment when you see uh, characters from a show come to real life. But my first question for you today is, first of all, congratulations on the engagement. It was a beautiful engagement. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. But what was the point of your relationship that made you decide that you are ready to take the steps towards engagement? Okay, do you want to answer that? Go ahead. Okay. Um, so basically, as I think as everyone saw on the show, we got engaged. But then after the show as well, he wanted to make this gesture to say, like, you deserve an actual proper proposal of the show and everything. So I think what made us um, take this official, official step is because we took our time. And I think it was the greatest decision that we took, him and I, and uh, we got to get to learn each other way well. more. Well, that is actually really beautiful. It's making me, it's calling me single in different ways, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but when is the wedding? Well, we didn't have the date yet. Mm-hmm. That's probably soon. I don't want to give uh, just a random date like this, but uh, now we're going soon, inshallah, to Senegal. I have all my family there in February. Then we're going to take it from, take it from, from there. there. Yeah. Oh, I really, in, in, in Arabic, we, go, we say, That is something I can say. So why did you decide to join Love is Night, Habibi? Well, to be honest with you, it's uh, first when you heard Love is Blind. We didn't know that we're going on Love is Blind because we didn't mm. have the name Love is Blind. Yes. So it was, uh, so you say we're going on the dating, uh, dating show and it's going to be a new adventure, you know, meeting new people. Either you go back single, either you go back in yeah. relation, but it's going to be an experience. So we went there before to sign the contract. <laughs> See, love is blind. <laughs> I was like, I went back to the guys. I told them, is it love is blind? Because they signed before me. Yeah. I was the last one to sign. Tell me yes. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> then in the first, we all went for the exposure the, in mm. the first step. Yeah. Then you get, you lost in your own game. Because you mm. came, you're not controlling anything anymore. You got my point. Exactly, so you, I get your point. Yeah. Your mind, everything was messed up. Then... You end up engaged. I would have never imagine to get uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to find the yeah, one, yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. What it's about crazy. you, Dunya? Like when you thought of getting to be a novice brand, what was like the thought process behind it? I was literally talking about this on my, my story yesterday. I was like, you know, so. Before going on Love is Blind, the people who know me in real life, they would be like, there is no way Dunya is going to participate in that type of, of TV show. Because I was like there and love would be here and I would be running away from love, you know, the whole other way. So I was like, um, so when I entered this experiment, I had a small percentage that I would actually find a life partner. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, it might work. It might not work. It might work. But as he said, we got trapped in our own One game, game yeah. and in a beautiful way to be honest so yeah that's yeah. really beautiful again you guys are calling me single in different ways but it's okay <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> okay well how are you both like able to hide that you're together for a year you know it's very hard it's not easy I, that's something i can confirm well i think it's make us stronger the first thing and second thing we had a lot of up and down mm. you know because yeah. i don't believe in perfect relationship Yeah. If someone just want to show you the good part, we are not like this. We True. had we had up and down, and that's why it makes us the more closer, yeah, closer and stronger. And, uh, and stronger now. Like even people try to come between me and and her, yeah. but it's it's funny. It's oh. make me it's make me laugh to be honest. It's love. It's like, it's love, right? Yeah. Of course. You know. Now I want to ask. Of course, when you get into a relationship, you ha- you are your own person, and the other person is his own person, and when you both combine. that relationship it's like it's a whole different person it's a it's a it's a union so it changes you both in a different way as individuals did you feel like both of you um changed in a way when you got together let her answer um yes we both okay. changed a lot actually from the from the beginning of our relationship we both were very different characters i can give you like some examples for example uh he was very impatient uh he would he would get like Uh, frustrated or irritated easily 
Now he's a completely different person a year later. I can say the same thing for me, you know. I used to have huge communication problems with him. <laughs> and now I learned a lot, you know. <laughs> so I think, um, you know, in life when you're with your partner, if he doesn't bring out the best in you and if she doesn't bring out the best in you, it's, I think it's a waste of time to continue, exactly. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what we found in each other with, all, with the whole package is that we brought out the best in each other and alhamdulillah, that's great. Were there any external factors that might have maybe tried to get in between both of you? Maybe my lifestyle. Hmm. But I, uh, I changed. You know, I used to go, uh, to go out like two, three times a week. Uh, I'm not a party guy, but I used to go in lounges, like hmm. restaurants, staying up till 1 a.m. But uh, I know that it's something that uh, you don't do when you're in a relationship. Yeah. Either you go with her, I go with her, sorry, either no. So yeah, I try to, to change. Now I sleep early. Oh, early. that's really I'm that's that, <laughs> that 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 I mean like yeah, but how early like do you sleep now? Well, eleven, eleven thirty during the weekend at twelve. She know I'm yeah, I'm gonna yeah, knock yeah. out. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, wow. Yeah, I'm an old puppy now. Don't you? I think you and I need to sit together and have a talk. <laughs> right? <laughs> we really do. We really need to actually sit together. But as well, I want to get back to the um. So, have you received backlash after? the show and have you found like true love between how long did it take you to actually be like fine he is the one he is the one for um me. well okay so to me it was a new concept okay i i always believed in love in a different way uh when shafiq got into my life he made me believe in love in a completely different way you know so that's that's a thing when um i think with time with the fact that whenever we would break up and when we come back together, we come back stronger. And I saw him in so many different situations in my life. He saw me as well in so many different situations. And we chose to stick together instead of choosing the easiest way, which is like, okay, go your way, I'll go mm. my way, and that's it, you know? So this, I think, is one of the major factors that made me believe that he's the one and he's a great man to, to be, he's an added value to my life as well. Um, and you asked something else in the beginning. I yeah, forgot. and how did you know he is the one? Oh, and that's what for you, uh -huh. <laughs> for okay. both of you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, your turn. <laughs> well, me, you know, the, the, it was cut in the in the pod. When we started mm -hmm. to talk, me and Dunya, I think it was my it was my first pod. It was in the pod number one. Yes. Mm. So when I entered the door, we talked for five minutes. I knew it's my match. And I say it on confession. I say either I go back with her, either I go back alone. Khalas, if it's not with her, I will not take another girl just to continue the experiment. Mm. So I knew it, then, then we have the up and down. I had some situation, some personal situation. She was with me. And you know, you know straight away when someone is your soulmate or no. So you don't have to force it. You need, just need like to pass by, I think, hard moment. Yeah. And you know is, uh, if she's the right or no. It's for both sides. Huh? Yeah. Like she's for, with her, with me. I'm with, yes, with yes. her also in difficult moment. And also it's all package. You know, the, come on, Gila. Connection psychologic. So, so, the psychologic uh, connection, yeah. you cannot force it. Yeah, that's yes. Either you have it, either you don't the have it. The connection as well, yes, it. that's true. That's it. Well, I think I might need to have a talk with my producer for, <laughs> <laughs> for, for this, but it's fine. I mean, I'm loving it. Mm. But um, of course, you know, after the show, the internet is brutal, and you know that. Yes. And you for sure must have faced a lot of backlash. How were your responses, both as individuals, with the backlash that you faced? Silence. That's it. That's, what, that's our, our response. We didn't respond to anyone because you cannot be loved by everyone. doesn't mm. matter what you're going to do. Some going to love you. Some going to hate you. She, she have her family. She have me. I have her. I have my family. We have our community that we love. So it's the most important thing. And I agree. It do, doesn't matter what you're going to do. You will still get be judged. So if you're going to stick on what people are going to say, you will not go nowhere in our life. And okay. we have... A lot of stuff to achieve together in the professional wise, in the life. So we don't have time for. I agree, a hundred percent. I mean, there, there's. I mean, people are gonna talk. They keep talking. Mm. That's the thing. Like no matter what, and then that's something that I was not prepared to even uh, for. You know, if, uh, him even more than me. He's new to social media. You know, but he's handling it perfectly. I was really surprised. We had this conversation so many times, and he's like, "Don't answer. Don't answer. It's it's not it's not worth it. You know, it's useless because." They're going to keep talking whatever you do. You cannot 
look like perfect or whatever you know in the end of the day i think we both showed our real real intentions and our real personalities and you know people who love us and people who follow us i always say represent us or relate to us in our personalities and our lifestyle so we're so proud to have like such a loving and supporting community mm -hmm. like that so yeah i mean i love that that's really powerful the way you both said silence mm -hmm. it's very powerful mm -hmm. but did it put like a strain on your relationship when you would like he see comments or, or or see videos and things like that and edits that can be maybe all over tiktok mm -hmm. did it put a strain on your relationship in any shape or form do you know that we laugh about it i want i, I was about I, to I say the same to, like, <laughs> i was about to say the seriously, same seriously we sometimes like people send us screenshots and they mm -hmm. tag us on the, on videos they're like oh my god look what they said about yeah. you oh my god look what shafiq did look what dunya did and we're just sending each other on whatsapp and bursting out <laughs> from laughter like it's so funny well i want to speak about mm. when you decided not to go through with the wedding yeah. on the show after you decided not to go through with the wedding did it was it because of external factors or because you were uncertain and you wanted to get to know him better i think it was both mm -hmm. both it was uh, something coming from outside also but i would say 80 percent yeah it was i think we need more time yes because as you say easy come easy, easy go come. exactly so I think yeah, we need yeah. we need the time, and I don't regret it. If if we have to do it, we'll do it in the same in the exactly same way. Yes, yeah. I agree a hundred percent. It's a big decision. Marriage is not as he says uh, as well. I agree. It's not a game. It's not a birthday. It's not like let's yeah. go in the birthday or let's go have a dinner. No, yeah. it's a marriage. Like it's a huge uh, step. I think honestly, I might. I, I'm taking a lot of advice. I'm writing notes in my, <laughs> in, in my in my in my in my uh, in my head. But I have some questions um, for you specifically, Shafi. Um, now, you previously mentioned that Dunya involves her mother in the relationship. And do you think that Dunya's close relationship with her mother crossed boundaries or was it just like justified for her to ask for her mother's advice? Which is, by the mm. way, every girl mm. does, you know, our mothers are like our role models. Uh, look, Dunya, she, the, like she gets raised, but basically her mom, you know. So I will never ever, I, I will repeat myself be between her and her mom because she's super close to my mom i'm close to her mom actually i have no issue with her i'll put her on the top of my head but it was it was her first relation dunya so it was mm -hmm. hard for her to do the balance and me i was a bit tough at mm. this uh, at this time you know so i needed all the time so now i know like she had time for her mom she had time for me but i will never push her away from uh, from her mom never that is really beautiful because, like yeah. you know, they say that if a man respects her mother, then you don't marry that's only a woman. You marry the mm -hmm. family also. That's what we say in our mm -hmm. country. You don't marry exactly. only the woman. You marry the the family. It's a whole package that you take. Mm. Yeah. Well, actually, I have now a question for you, Dunya. Uh, do you think that some people's personalities changed during and as well after the pods? Pods? Yeah. Uh, pods are like a whole show. You would say, oh. I uh, yeah. I mean, listen. Uh, I said it before. I'll say it again. Even though we're over the subject, like yeah. it's a uh, year and a half uh, ago now. Like we all uh, moved on. Obviously, I still. If we, if you bring me back with this question to the point where we were filming the the whole experiment. Yes, some of us had different intentions than others. You know, some of us had a certain personality off camera and on camera. And that's it. I think it's fine, you know. In, in the end of the day, everyone has their own choices and their own intentions. And who am I to judge, you know? That's, so, that's yeah. very mature of you to say. Yeah. Now, if you would go back in time after, you know, the show is done and it's aired, and if you would change one thing, what would it be? We do one thing. During the experiment? I mean, yeah, during the experiment, of course. Mm, a, uh, a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Okay, like uh, I would answer for for me. Yeah. I think uh, I would just try to. Okay, I I was me a hundred percent, but I would try to show less of my personality because I think hmm. it kind of like uh, backlashed on me the fact yeah. that I was too transparent and I was too out there and showing all of my emotions, you know. And I think maybe in TV it's not the best thing to do. But that's why people loved you. Yeah. Because she's real. You? Yeah. She's not <laughs> yeah. pretending to be someone because of mm -hmm. the camera. That is very on point, <laughs> big. But what about you? If you would go back in time and change one thing? Nothing. Nothing. I will do the show from the same exactly mm -hmm. way and do the same exactly thing. 
everything. Yeah. Well, your relationship, we have seen it flourish and almost crumble. Mm. But you guys, of course, you both, um, your, your love is true. Um, if you both would have done one thing differently for each other, what would it be? To, on, on the experiment? Yeah. For each other? Mm-hmm. Do you know, like, honestly, like, it's crazy because so many parts of the pods did not show. That's good. Mm-hmm. It's crazy because they didn't, like, it, it didn't actually show the amount of time that we spent together, the special dates that we had together in the pods, the gifts that were given, the long conversation, the deep conversation. For two hours. Like the only thing that showed, I showed only talking to him in the pod, but there mm-hmm. was there was more drama behind mm-hmm. that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but um, it was it, it was way more than that in the pods. You know, so I I don't think um, no, it was so beautiful, and they just did not display everything in details. That's why. Do you feel misunderstood because of the editing and the cuts? Because like we know that when you edit, they choose their. The cuts or maybe the parts that they want to show and maybe they can make you or you even look in a specific way. So do you think that the cuts made you feel misunderstood? Um, I, I think, listen, I think I'm going to be honest about this. It's In the end, it's TV, uh, it's reality TV. It's completely normal to like have content, edit out content and present uh, like uh, divertissement, entertainment for for the public, it's completely normal, like no judgment on that. But yes, definitely, there were some parts that I wish that shown as well. Mm-hmm. Even for him, I'm talking uh, for, mm-hmm. for you, like uh, like some parts that were edited out for, uh, about him that made him look a specific way, which actually in real life he is not, and his surroundings know that more than me, by the way. So, yeah. If you would say one thing about Dunya, that people who watch the show or this show do not know about her, what would it be? Pure. That is oh. so cute. <laughs> he doesn't talk a lot, but when he talks, <laughs> he, it, it's quite adorable. But, <laughs> but that's true, and I see it. Uh, we receive a lot of backlash. Me, I deserve it, I know. Because uh, maybe I overreact, but to her, she gets backlash for nothing. That's why I say some, some social media that tough with people who don't deserve it. You know, she didn't, I'm talking about the reunion. She didn't mm-hmm. open her mouth. She didn't say anything. Like, she was literally sitting and watching. I was the one who was talking. Mm. Why are you going to... You give her a bad clash. I deserve all the bad clash, not her. So yeah, I would say pure. Well, what would you say about him? Something that didn't show on the show? Yeah. Okay. Something um, that people don't know, you know, that did not show on the show. Okay. He, and I take full responsibility for what, for what about, I'm about to say. Okay. This man is loyal. And on the show, he was displayed as being a player. I, I know what I'm saying because we all know what we were saying. We all saw what we saw in the episodes. I'm not even talking about the reunion. Mm. Like, I'm talking about episodes. He was displayed as someone who, um, in Arabic, we say, like mm. his eyes are rolling. And yeah. that is not him. And I'm like, you can call me blind because love is blind. <laughs> <laughs> but his surroundings also uh, like uh, know that as well. What was the moment that you knew that you loved her? It was after the, after the show. It wasn't in the show. I think even both of us, in, in the show, we had feeling, but it wasn't like love. Look, for me, you cannot love in one month. There yeah, is no way. True, like, no let's, way. Be, let's be realistic. Like, uh, the experiment push you with the right uh, person, then you go outside. Why? There is the concept of back to reality. So we had one, uh, two weeks in the pod. Yeah. Two weeks. In, uh, how like two to three weeks in the pod and then back to reality. No, we have resort. Yes. The result was one week. one week. Then we have back to reality. Why back to reality? Mm-hmm. Because there is no camera, there is nothing. It's just boom, we throw you again in the in the life. So it was yeah, in the back to the reality. Well, I have a question. Mm. How's your Arabic? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I'm so sorry, but I really had to. Nice question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's your Arabic? Are no. you like practicing? Are you learning? Do you need help? No, but that, what's that, going on? I'm back to try, but oh, I'm okay. um, Sometimes, I can tell. I, I, I mean, I would give you, honestly, like, like initially, I would give you, I, yeah, initially, it used to be like a five. 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 But now, <laughs> but now, I would say it's a six. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, so we keep him slowly but surely. <laughs> now he has a community on on Snapchat that follows him in Arabic. They're like, you speak Arabic or no? غنيلهم كل الليل كل الليل بغني مزيكا. طب غنيلنا هون on the show. غنيلنا يلا go ahead it's fine. غنيلهم your favorite song. You know our favorite song it's. من أول مرة تلاقي من جوا That by the way that is a very prominent video all over in TikTok my favorite page is filled with Shafi's video singing من أول مرة تلاقينا I'm not even joking it's all over so I had to like because I, I was reading the song so when we made the reveal mm-hmm. someone make a TikTok with this music and the TikTok, the TikTok go viral yeah. so yes. it stuck in my mind so I start to listen the music <laughs> even in the gym I was working out listening to this <laughs> Well, it's a beautiful love song. It's a beautiful love song. <laughs> exactly. It's a beautiful love song, but it's okay. Now, I have um, a small game for the both of you that I'm very excited for. But I, first, I would need to get you both. Sorry. This is it's a buzzer. buzzer. Yeah. It's a buzzer. Okay. Now, one for you and one for you. Super. Thank you. Okay. So, the game is, okay, who you both need to, like, Buzz it first. Okay, who buzzes it first will answer first. Okay. All right, so. And this is, of course, it's going to be uh, Love is Blind edition. Edition. Okay. <coughs> I so. feel like you're going to buzz first. Like, I'm <laughs> such <laughs> an overthinker. <laughs> hmm. Oh, no, it's fine. Just like say, say it as it is. It's okay. It's all going to be fine. Okay. Now, of course, no harm. We, we know you love each other. But, so, the first question is... Who do you think that Dunya was going to end up with? Me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that's fast. <laughs> well, that's fast. Me. That's cute. Again. Me. Again, Masa, we need to have a talk after the show. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, well. Who takes the longest to get ready? Me. Wait, that was I for her. Okay. Well, fair, fair enough. Okay, well. Who is the most stylish from the whole cast? Uh... I think this? so. I was going to say that. <laughs> okay, again, why am I here? <laughs> I will say Simo. I will say Simo also. Yeah, yeah true. Like, yeah, true, Simo, he's, true. Uh, he has his okay. own uh, style. Yeah. Well, um, now, which couple should never have made it to the hotel? Hotel? Uh, resort? Yeah. I, I have no answer for that. <laughs> Me, I would say... Everyone has his part there because everyone opened his eyes about mm. his own partner. Yeah. So it was yeah for me. Everyone had their chance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. has his chance, and everyone see the with who they are dealing, you know. So yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, who looks like the villain, but it's actually nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of course, of course, of course, Masa. We really need to have a talk at this point. <laughs> All right. Well, who is not as sweet as they look? Um. <clears throat> who? Pa, 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 pa. I think uh, the buzzer will not be touched. <laughs> let me check. <laughs> well, no, I uh, think we all look well, I, I, already get dis- I already get destroyed on social media. Yeah, so I just, just leave the buzzer alone. <laughs> right. Well, sure, of course. Now, thank you so much, by the way, for being here. I enjoyed so much the talk. I can thank sit you. here for like another um, hour. <laughs> but I need to have a talk with Masa, so it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for being here. Pleasure. And thank you all for tuning in. This is Shafi and Dunya from Love is Blind. And if you missed the show, we go in podcast form. So see you tomorrow, same time, same face. Bye-bye from me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>